guys, it's Katie. I am back. I'm feeling good, so I'm sorry it's been a long time since I filmed a video, but I'm going to make my meal plan for this week, so I thought I'd bring you along for that. Um, uh, th there's a couple things up in the air this week, so I'm not going to schedule the certain meals on certain days. I'm just going to brainstorm seven ideas, make a grocery list, and um, you know a to-do list from that. So for this week, we're still in Lent, so I need one meatless meal. Um, it's also my husband's birthday this week, so I need his like special birthday meal. And what he asked for was mac and cheese <laughs> and hot dogs. Um, so he wants like the box mac and cheese. Actually, in my last Costco haul, if you saw that, I bought a big case of mac and cheese and he got his hopes up, but it wasn't for him. So that's gone. I need to buy some mac and cheese for him. So I'm just gonna, um, let's see, mac and cheese. I'm just gonna buy like one box of mac and cheese. And I think I also need hot dogs. I'm gonna double check in the freezer because I got a three pack from Costco a while ago, but I think they're all gone. So mac and cheese and hot dogs for that. And he wants a carrot cake, which um, I have a ton of carrots from one of those big 10 pound bags of carrots from Costco. Um, and this weekend I was running some errands. I ran in and I um, grabbed some cream cheese. He wants cream cheese frosting. So I usually carry pretty much everything else on hand. Um, carrot cake is basically just a spice cake with shredded up carrot in it. So I have carrots. I have things like flour and baking powder and cinnamon um, and sugar. So I should be good there. Um, and then I did get cream cheese for the cream cheese frosting, and I need to get some butter. So um, what I'm going to do, since I don't eat dairy for this meal, um, I'm probably just going to make like a cupcake. So I'll make like the regular cake, I'll make up the cake batter, and then I'll pour one like cupcake <laughs> in a cupcake tin and then make the regular cake, ice it with, you know, the cream cheese frosting that he wants, and then I'll just have it without frosting. And then for the mac and cheese, I also can't eat that. I have some elbow macaroni in the pantry, so I'll probably just cook up some elbow macaroni, and I have two choices. I can make like the spinach avocado pasta sauce that I have a recipe on my channel if you want to see that. It's basically blended up spinach and avocado, and it makes a really creamy, like delicious sauce that you can toss with pasta. Or if I, um, avocados have been kind of iffy in grocery stores, they've been really expensive lately, so if I end up not getting an avocado, I might just do some Italian dressing and cut up a little bit of salad vegetables like, like carrots and celery and cucumber and make like a little pasta salad to go with my hot dog since I can't eat the mac and cheese. So I have elbow macaroni to do that and I have everything to make an Italian salad dressing but I'm going to put um, avocado on here and again if it's not, if they're not a good price I will skip it and then spinach for that. <clears throat> um, I have a chicken. I probably will roast a chicken tonight, so I'll go ahead and put that on a roast chicken. And um, I was thinking I could do kind of a, like a couscous salad or like a quinoa salad um, because I have some mushrooms from last week that I want to use up. So usually I just saute some like onions and celery with a few herbs. I have some basil or um, parsley in the garden and um, like some olive oil and then you put in either you could do couscous you could do um, orzo pasta you could do quinoa and then kind of simmer it so it's kind of like a pilaf so some kind of pilaf i have pilaf i can't spell i have um, quinoa i have couscous i don't have orzo but that's fine so roast chicken and then that kind of pilaf and I still have my spaghetti squash that I didn't have like three weeks ago. It's sitting here on my counter so I might do that. I could also do like boiled carrots. I might do boiled carrots because the chicken's going to be kind of monochrome and this will be kind of monochrome. Um, so maybe I'll do boiled carrots as a side vegetable. I love boiled carrots. <laughs> Especially with like roast chicken or something like that. So I have lots of carrots. Like I said, I have a big bag of carrots. So I don't need to get anything like that. The chicken's already thawing in the refrigerator. It's been thawing for a day or two. So that's ready. And then like I said, I'm just going to use up some odds and ends of vegetables. So I know I have onions and celery and I have those mushrooms. I have parsley in the garden. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put onions on my grocery list because I just have, you know, a few and I'll be using them 
throughout this week so I want to make sure I have plenty I always like to have onions on hand I pretty much add onions to every <laughs> savory recipe starts with onions so that's two meals I still don't have a meatless meal but that's fine we'll come to that um, something that we made a couple weeks ago that turned out really delicious was a noodle salad like a Vietnamese grilled pork noodle salad and I have the other half of the pack of noodles so I'm, I'm gonna have that again because it's something that is really quick and easy to make my family loves it and I have a lot of the ingredients because I just made it a, a little while ago so call it noodle salad so that's made with rice noodles and then um, cucumber and you make a pickled carrot um, and then you can put like mint and cilantro so let me put cilantro on my grocery list and cucumber even though I usually end up getting those sort of like salady vegetables anyway I want to make sure that I get a cucumber I have lots of carrots I have the rice noodles I have some pork in the freezer and then to marinate the pork and then you make a salad you will make um, it's kind of like a sugar vinegar soy sauce kind of marinade so I used up all of the rice wine vinegar and vinegar so I want to make sure I get some of that because I like to have that on hand I have the you know soy sauce and the fish sauce so that's good for that meal uh, let's see I have pretty much every cut of beef that you could imagine in my freezer since we have that big um, cow order that I got just a couple months ago and like I said I have pork that I'm gonna use for this so let me put with pork and this is pretty much a complete meal because they have your noodles, you have um, some fresh vegetables, and then you have your meat. I also um, actually got the chicken that I'm going to roast tonight. I got the I got a second chicken and I got some other things at the farm that we like to get our meat from. I ended up getting some breakfast sausage, so I kind of want to have that. I might do... Um, I don't know I might I was thinking I would just do like sausage patties and have eggs because we got some eggs from there too they're wonderful wonderful um, you know pastured raised eggs so I was thinking maybe that but I was kind of thinking maybe doing uh, sausage gravy and biscuits since I know my husband likes that and it's birthday week for him um, but what I got I think it's spicy uh, like hot sausage so I'm not I've not I don't see why you couldn't make sausage gravy with that. I usually use just regular like pork breakfast sausage. So I don't know. I'm going to leave that one open and just say breakfast for dinner and think about that a little bit, a little bit more. Leave me a comment down below. Would you make sausage gravy with spicy sausage? Sounds okay. I don't know. Um, and I do that, <coughs> pardon me, I do that with cashew cream. I have a video on how I do that to make it dairy free. Um, it's not vegan obviously because it has sausage in it, but it is dairy free so I can link that video down below And if I don't end up doing that I will just make like I said sausage patties and then scramble up some eggs and maybe make some um, Toast or maybe biscuits. We'll see If I do biscuits, then we can kind of turn them into sandwiches. That might be nice But for now, we'll just do that. So I'll say sausage And then I guess eggs uh, Go ahead and splurge and have biscuits so we usually end up having at least one ground beef meal every week because we have so much ground beef from our cow order. Um, so maybe we'll just have hamburgers because that's something my husband was asking about the other day. Um, so hamburgers and maybe we're having nicer and nicer weather. So maybe something summery like, um, like a pasta salad or a potato salad. I think I have some potatoes let me look I have a small amount of potatoes I'm gonna go ahead and say potatoes here and we'll do that hamburgers and potato salad so my potato salad is usually just boiled potatoes celery um, some onions I might put um, some scallions in there I have green onions in the garden that I can clip the tops off of and use as green onions and then I would need to make mayonnaise, um, which is just oil and eggs and a little bit of lemon juice. I ran out of the bottle of lemon juice, so I need to get some more of that. Lemon juice. 
Hmm. And then the hamburgers, I don't do anything real special for that. Just a little bit of salt and pepper, maybe some garlic, like garlic powder. And then I'll make some hamburger buns. Okay, and I have lots of ground beef in the fridge. And then maybe like um, just some raw veggies to go with that. I like to have some sort of veggie with pretty much every meal. I still need a meatless meal for Friday. And I was thinking of making stuffed shells. Um, I have a dairy-free stuffed shell recipe. I used to make dairy-free stuffed shells with a tofu filling, but recently, well, like around Christmas time, I made with a almond ricotta for the first time, and it was actually really good. So I'll probably make that would be a good um, a good meatless meal. And so I do have almonds. So let me write that down. Uh, so I'll just say stuffed shells. I do have almonds to make the almond ricotta. You just soak almonds, peel them, and then grind them up with a little bit of water. I'm going to get lemon juice, which I think you need to add. I have parsley growing in the garden. I have nutritional yeast flakes. Um, I do need to get the, like the big pasta though, uh, jumbo shells. Um, or otherwise, I'll just get lasagna noodles and make it into a lasagna. It's a pretty similar filling. And then I have everything to make a pasta sauce. In fact, I might have pasta sauce in the pantry. Um, but I won't need anything either way, whether I make it from scratch or use a jar. So I think that's good um, for a meatless meal. And I'll have salad on that night too. Salad to round it out. And I always get salad vegetables, so just write salad. Veg. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six meals, and that takes care of birthday dinner and a meatless meal. I just need one more to round out the week. Okay, I'm back. I have a baby on my lap, so I just need to finish up this meal plan. Um, what I was thinking is something really quick, and something that's really quick is um, we have a lot of cube steak in the freezer from our cow order. So usually those fry up really quick and then I can just have like two vegetable side dish. So that's like a really quick um, meal. So cube steak, I can um, fry up some onions, fried onions, like sauteed or whatever, not like deep fried. Fried onions um, to kind of go on top of the cube steak. And then um, I, I probably will just do like a frozen vegetable. I think I have peas. And then I can do like either mashed potatoes or fried potatoes, like home fries. Or um, I could have the spaghetti squash on that night. That would be good. Peas and spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash. So I have peas. I have the spaghetti squash. I'm going to get onions. I have the cube steak. And then I'll just throw a little bit of flour, <clears throat> kind of dredge them in flour so that it makes kind of a gravy. All right, so I think that's everything for this week. We're going to have dairy-free stuffed shells and salad, macaroni and cheese, or macaroni salad with hot dogs and carrot cake for the birthday boy, a roast chicken, a pilaf, and some boiled carrots, a Vietnamese noodle salad with pork, breakfast for dinner, which would be sausage, eggs, and biscuits, Hamburgers and potato salad with cucumber slices, cube steak, fried onions, peas, and spaghetti squash. All right, that's everything for this week. Here's my grocery list. Um, I'm going to try to film a grocery haul. And so I will probably have that up tomorrow, the day after I post this video. So be on the lookout for that. You can subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And give my video a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!